All right, man. More you know, Darius Smith to the Lions rumors arise. Um, you know, um, so uh, so pretty much. Uh, um, yeah, pretty much. They are honing in on him. More reports are coming out there that they're uh, rooting for the Chargers to win tomorrow. In hopes to get Zendaria Smith, so um, so I'm guessing if the Browns win, then they're probably gonna keep him. Like I said I don't feel like the Lions gonna make a major trade, or this will be a semi major trade. I don't see that happening. I know the Lions, I know who they are. Um, don't they're probably gonna play the waiver wire, and Brad really love to keep those picks. And last year, what was the difference between them making the, the champion Super Bowl? Was them not going out there getting the corner? But he used a draft this year to address that need, so it ain't like he don't see it. But, you know, Lions are clear-cut uh, Chargers fans on Sunday if they want Zadarius Smith. If a fresh uh, if a fresh report is to be believed, Lions unofficial secondary slogan on Sunday should probably be bowed up. Um, it says uh, next Tuesday's trade deadline nears. There's no secret Detroit Lions are looking for an edge rusher. Plenty of reports say so. Information from that flag, Dan Cini, Diana Rishini, Rishini on Saturday only reinforces it. It's no secret that Lions coach Dan Campbell, general manager Brian Holmes, have been hunting for an edge rusher since losing Aiden Hudson to the season in the injury. Hudson has been placed October 13th, but is still third in the NFL in sacks. The team has checked in with numerous teams around the league, including Cleveland with hopes of Atlanta's and Darius Smith. Uh, the attachment of Smith's name to Detroit is also hardly new. He's certainly a scheme fit, and overall cost to get him will be right at the Lions wheelhouse. With that low potential cost in mind, the Browns are likely fielding calls from multiple teams about Smith. There's also a question of whether the Browns see themselves as buyer seller scale at the deadline, though at 2-6, and six, it seems obviously where they should see themselves on the scale. The Lions are obviously Chargers fans. Jonathan Jones of CBS Sports offers some extra information about the trade deadline, including a nugget about the Browns as we start to measure the time left before the trade deadline in hours. Quote, Cleveland appears to be put on pause one thing this week after beating the Ravens and moving to a six. Again, Miles Garrett is staying in Cleveland, but Darius Smith, Elijah Moore, um, maybe uh, could be on the move in the coming day, especially with the loss on Sunday to the Chargers. They've been a potential trade candidate for a few weeks. And in my opinion, Zadarius Smith is just not enough. You know, and I know that may sound crazy to some people, but in my opinion, he's just not enough. It's one good piece. They need more than one good piece. And I don't think you have to go out there and get two major players or another major player. You know, like Aziz Lorgi um, would be a good piece. Um, uh, you know, so, so, you know, just – uh, Arden Keys will be another good piece. A uh, Harold Landry to go along with that. I, I think they need a defensive end before Aiden Hutchinson went down. So you know, I have been saying I think they need a defensive end before he went down. So, you know, that was my opinion on it. I feel like they need a defensive end before he went down. So, you know, that is what it is. So if they waiting for him. To do so, I mean, and then when you check his stats, you know, he ain't been outstanding this year, him or Miles Garrett. So, yeah, him or Miles Garrett ain't been been outstanding this year. So, I don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, you know, so, you know, you know, so. But, uh. But, yeah, I don't know what's going on in Cleveland. I just think the offense has been that abysmal. You know, uh, yeah, I think I think they've been that abysmal where it's really hurt the defense. Uh, if you start to really see them kind of, uh, you know, mom some offense, I think the defense would be a lot better. And, and you know, the scores is not that bad. You know, the scores is not that bad where they getting popped, but, you know, with, uh, excuse me, was a Darius Smith or whatever, I don't really see, like, that being a huge booster for them. They needed another defensive end before they got Aiden Hutchinson. I don't really think they see it that way. You know, that's the crazy thing about it. I don't really think they see it that way. 
So, yeah, I don't really think they see it that way. So, um, but, uh, no, that's on them. But, uh, but yeah, but looking at, you know, his, his stats, let me see if I can pull them up. Like this year, he really ain't did shit. Maybe he might come here and may it may be an overall difference maker. So but right now he got five sacks this year through eight games, so that ain't really bad playing next to you know Miles Bridget. I mean I was Garrett. So uh he had a sack in the first two games versus Washington, versus Giants, and versus Dallas. So I mean or I'm going backwards, but yeah, you know, he's been hot the last couple games, so We'll see, but I, I think they need a little bit more oomph than him. Yeah, I think they needed him with Aiden Hutchinson. So, then, well, you know, and also, you know, Pascal injury history. <laughs> and then outside of Pascal, who do they have? Yeah, they put Anzarike at the end for a minute. They ain't got shit else about it. Kaminsky gone, Davenport gone, you mean? So, in reality, they need two guys. They baking on one tray. You need two guys. So that's what I find funny about it. You need two guys. Yeah, you need two guys, bro. So that's just my opinion on it. Uh, but but we'll see. They know what they're doing. You know, you get if you back, you get a nice little blitzer off the edge, and yeah. You'll get him back and stuff. So, yeah, we'll see. We definitely will see. But uh, but yeah, hopefully you know they make they make the move. You know, hopefully they make the move, and you know, hopefully it's more moves to come where they find somebody in the waiver wire that could really help them. So, you know, we have to wait and see. But uh, there is is a good start. He is a good start. So that's that's a good start for them. But hey. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all no notification. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. Uh, you know, financially, you want to support the channel. Uh, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Um, other than that, see all the trade lines start playlist. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.